This video shows me making a custom roof rack for my trooper as you can't actually buy one. Just to house the rooftop tent ready for a trip to Wales the following weekend. It has been shot over a week or a few days but it does make sense in the end so please stick with it. Well it's time to get the roof tent out of the conservatory. It's been stood in here blocking all the light out the kitchen window for god knows how long. So get it out, put it on the patio, open it up and have a look. Well my little brother's just been up and give me a lift out the conservatory with it. Check her out, she's popped up lovely. I've had it for about three weeks, first time I've ever opened it. But she's lovely. Well, I think she is anyway. Quite surprised how big they are inside. I think this one's got a 50mm, maybe a 40mm mattress in it. But yeah, she's a beauty. Well, job today then is get it on the truck. I've already started taking the roof rails off, the old roof rails, because we've got to make some new ones to hold this. But we'll see what we can get done. But yeah, first impressions, I'm chuffed with that. As you can see, you've got to take these two off and then build something better and bigger to put your roof tent on. So, first thing, you've got to go along here and undo these little clips. So you need to find the clips, pop a screwdriver in, and then you can peel them off. I made these ages ago just for me, uh, for me kayak to go on and also me awning. So I'm going to have to remake something. I have to move the CBA reel as well. But hopefully it'll be worth it. So I'll get busy, I'll pop these off, because I can't really do it one-handed, and I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, while I'm out here, the trouble I'm having is, top of the troop is bowed, front to back, and then the roof has got a bow in it as well. So I want to keep it as low as I can, because I don't want it blinking right up in the air. You see some lads with roof tents, and they need a blinking barrier, or uh, an escort to get under barriers and bridges. I don't want that, I want it as low as I can. So I think by the time I've got that mounted up and welded up, put the trim back on the roof, and then I can make sure that these bars are gonna go across and meet with it. That's just my old roof bar, I've cut the ends off them. and I'm just using that as a level at the minute, or a straight edge across the roof. But I think with what I've got and the time frame I'm under, I wanna be in this roof tent next Saturday. So I think I'll bring the welder out the front, tack that on there, and then we can have a better look at it, but I think that's going to be the go. So, yeah, we'll run with that for now. Well, that's the first bit on. I think I'm happy with that. The problem I'm having, like I said before, is the roof's curved both ways, and obviously this needs to be flat to mount a rooftop tent, and I don't want to mount it and leave it on forever. I want to be able to take it on and off quickly and easily on my own, so I ain't got to drive around with it on all the time because I won't be going camping all the time. I do a lot of day trips and stuff. And I don't want to be carrying that around with me. So once the trim's gone back in, that trim will drop back in there and cover that up there, which will be nice. That, there, that tube then is going to stay on. It's going to be linked in like a H-frame to the other side because none of this is very strong, only together. So that is good and strong. There's only two bolts in that. There's four to go in it. Obviously, you can rock the whole truck on it. But with the wind and the knocks and bumps, it needs to be proper strong. So four bolts this side, four bolts the other side. They'll be linked together with the, I'm just gonna put some small tubes across so that I can still put my kayak on the roof, even without my rooftop or anything. So there's gonna be a couple of braces across there. I've rounded the front, sort of to match that pillow a little bit or best I can, just to take the edge off it. And I'm gonna do the same to the back, but I'm not sure where yet. So I'm going to come back to here, or maybe a bit further, I don't know. I'll get the other side done first and see. But that's the first one. Obviously these are going to be painted black. That will stay on all the time, even when the rooftop tent's not on there. It acts as a little bit of a slider, I guess. A little bit of a, a slider just to uh, keep the trees up. But at the minute, that's all I've got to show you. But I think that's, uh, that's all right. You can just about see it from the front. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be alright. I haven't done hard lots with it, but with the material I've got, the time scale I've got, I think that's going to be sound. But we'll keep pushing on. Hello folks, another day now. 
back from work. Didn't do much yesterday filming because uh, I had a party to go to for my granddaughter's first birthday. Came home and done a bit of work in the workshop till late last night. And uh, here we are after work today, bring you back. So this is what we've got so far. We've got both the rails made up. Bear with me, I will explain this to you. These have been tubed and sleeved. So these plates are going to be removable. So, so my roof tent is going to go across there like that. Not this material. I've got some real thick, heavy duty strap there. So this is going to be replaced with the strap. The strap is going to be welded to those plates. That strap is going to go all the way across to the other side. They're different lengths front and back because of the shape of the roof, but it can be welded there like that. It's going to rest on there to make it easy to line up. And then these, the roof tent, the aluminium extrusions are going to bolt to this. Where this goes across at the minute, the aluminium extrusions about there, so I just have enough room to get a nut underneath this plate when this is there. Same on the front. Same on the front. It's going to go across there. It's just going to give me enough room to get a nut underneath. So they'll stay on full time. So when I remove the tent, all I have to do is undo these eight bolts from the side and then the tent can come off. So I don't have to mess about with U-bolts underneath or anything because I haven't got the room for that. So to get it as low as I can sitting on here, that's the design I've come up with. Whether it works or not, I don't know, or we'll soon see. But by the time this strap's welded to there, that leaves me 25 mil, which is what my aluminium extrusion is on the bottom of my roof tent. So then that should put the roof tent sat along this bar level. So it's only gonna have two bars, one at the back, one at the front. Tent's gonna bolt to them, and then those bars will be removable with these eight bolts on the side. They are drilled, tubed, welded round, and these orange plates, that are obviously are powder coated at the minute, but they'll be ground off, they'll be welded to the, to the bars, and that will come off with the tent. So that's the plan. Whether it works or not, we'll soon see. Got to tweak this rail over a little bit, put it back in the vise and just tweak this, make it right before it gets welded solid. But that's where we're at at the minute. So let's crack on, see what else we can sort. Right. That's them two bars cut now. Hopefully you can see what I mean. I can take these orange plates back off, clean this up, weld these up, and then these bars and the plates on the end will be removable. But the tent's gonna be bolted to these. Now I know they're a flat bar, they are 10 mil thick, and you're gonna get a little bit of deflection in them for defo. But the aluminium extrusion is about six inches inside the edge of the tent. I think the tent is just, just gonna stick over this edge so six inch in from there is where it's going to bolt. So I've got room to get me nut there. Same on the front, I should just about sneak a nut in there somewhere. I think that's how it's going to have to be. And that should keep me roofed, my tent then, right down, sitting on top of these bars. I'll probably stick a bit of foam under, underneath my tent so when it sits on here, there's no chattering or no, no buffing about. Same there with that middle bar, a bit of foam under that. But then it should just be as easy as these four bolts either side and then lift it off. I hope that makes sense because uh, it's about as clear as mud at the minute, but that's the plan. It will sit just on these one inch sections, sit there, help me line the bolts up easy because obviously you're not going to be able to get to the back stand, they're captive, and then just fix the bolts on the outside. New bolts coming for these, put these trims back in the gutters. Once it's all painted black, should be decent. And then what I'll do is I'll have another set of these, which when we tents off, I should just bolt in to make a roof rack as normal. So, shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, when I'll do them for the, just for the roof rack, I'll just do them out of box and that's fine. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with this tail end yet. I'm gonna wait until the tent's on and see how that looks. But that's my plan. Hopefully you can see it coming together. I can, but uh, hopefully you can. And hopefully it works, but we'll see. Right, well, we've cleaned it up, ready to weld. Got the welder back out the front. A bit of a damp, damp blanket here, just to try and protect the paint and the glass a little bit. But all cleaned up, all ready for welding, so I'm gonna put a good tack on them, and then I should drop them off and weld them up proper. But uh, there you go, I'll bring you back in a sec. Right then, we're back. 
I took them, tacked them, took them up in the shed and welded them proper. They're all welded up now. That's going to be stronger than any part of the roof tent. So, the roof tent now should drop onto here. Aluminium extrusions, 25mm. That's going to bolt like that. And then the roof tent, all being well, should sit on here pretty flush. Might have to put a little bit of foam on the bottom of the tent just when it sits on there, don't chafe and rub. But that's it. That's it so far anyway. And for tonight, I'm going to have to relocate my aerial. But I knew that. But yeah, the bolts are a little bit long. I'll trim them down. I've got some smaller ones. But that's the base now. Hopefully tomorrow night when I get home, I can drop the tent on. But that's for tomorrow. Hopefully you can see the vision. I'm hoping once it goes, once it's black, it's not going to look too bad on the roof full time. But we'll see. It's going to do for this weekend anyway. Welcome back, folks. Next day, been to work, but there was no grit, so I'll come home. That's good because I can crack on my truck. So we've emptied the drive off. Got more truck in the middle, so we've got room for the engine crane to swing the tent on. We've got the blue one. Got the battery charged up. Got the out and out belt tight, so it is charging itself now. Pulled the trailer off the drive with that. Still got Jesse's car on the trailer. So let's get the roof tent. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have saw the other day I was building this trolley. The reason I built this trolley is because where I live, I've got an alleyway. Everything has to come in and out the alleyway. So obviously, I need to get the roof tent down there on my own. But on the trolley, should be able to wheel it around the corner get up to the truck and then when I take it off it can just come straight in into the shed so fits on there perfect nice and easy nice and manageable I can wheel it straight in and out cost me 12 quid for the casters the rest is just a bit of scrap steel I'd laying about but I think it'll work perfect let's get out the front well got the tent out no problem idea is now latch down off that rub block Bring the crane out, lift it up, and swing it straight on the roof. So, hopefully it goes to plan. But the trolley worked a dream. The tent's not heavy, but you just ain't going to carry it down there on your own, are you? There's no handles, there's no way of supporting it or carrying it on your own. But, there you go, I think that was worth doing. Well, it was the first attempt, I don't think that was too bad. Crane swung it up there. I could have done a little bit of extra height, so I think next time I'll uh, slide it outward and put it in a bit further. So I've got just that little bit of extra height. But it dropped on there. Went on just as I planned. Just got to mark it now. Take it back down, fix it to the roof bars, and then uh, should be able to drop it back on and then work out how we're going to get the awning on the side. So chuffer that it fits it's gone on just as i wanted it to or just as i hoped it would i had a bit of a plan in my head but it was only in my head might end up putting something across the front here just to to fill that gap but we'll see we'll see we'll get it to get it attached to the bars first and then uh, that'll be that but i think that's about where it wants to sit it's not quite at the end of the spoiler but the catches are so that's probably about as far as it wants to go back and i've just got I don't even think it's uh, no you can't see it through the windscreen so it's uh, it's just as far enough back that it's not in, not seeing it through the windscreen I think that'll be spot on I think that's where it's got to live so I'll get it bolted down or get it marked up and then bolted down and we'll swing it back on and have a look at this awning right tent's on it's all bolted down on that and now I'm trying to get the awning back on before the awning bolted to me roof rails just two bolts through the top of that bolted to me roof rails Obviously now my roof rails are gone. So I've just welded those 50 mil bits of box on there. I'm then gonna replace those brackets with these little 40 mil box sections, weld them on there, cut them off, weld them on there. And then it should just slot in there with a bolt through the top. Or well, that's the plan anyway. They're in pretty much the same spot as they were before, spacing wise. So that'll just pop into there. I'll have a thread in the bottom bolt through the top and then the awning will come off just with two bolts shouldn't interfere with the roof tent the awning will be able to go on when the roof tent isn't on and uh, 
<laughs> That's about it. I'll bring you back in a minute. Well, that's my awning back on. I've got to adjust it. This bracket needs to just be 15 mil shorter. So I'll cut that down, make that 15 mil shorter, weld it all up proper, and I'll just make the pins that go through to hold it on. But it fits nice and tight at the back. There's a bit more of a gap at the front, which I want to try and get rid of. I want it as tight fitting as it can. You see there's a bit more gap there. So that needs to come in about 15 mil, I think. Used to sit right over the top of the snorkel before, and that's why I want it again. So, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. I might have to just move it back a little bit to make sure it clears me, uh, goes underneath, it wraps around this corner here, to make sure it goes underneath there still. But those brackets are just where we can slide it along. As long as it's uh, on there in the right profile, we can slide the tent along, uh, the awning along a little bit, because it is on alley tracks. So, I'll get that bracket made up proper and then that's a final fitting job that's uh we do that down the road that don't matter this is a little video i took on my phone just when i put it all back together freshly painted bolted back on the roof i'd sort of give up with the gopro here because it time sensitive and i was getting close to the deadline so I, camera went out the window and i just got busy with it but there it is bolted up finished off on the truck ready for wales well the eagle eyed among you will see that we're not at home Come out today for a drive with Nicola. Just got back from uh, Wales yesterday. Put the tent away a bit wet. So we come up to our little local bit here, Avon Das Hills. We're gonna just air the tent out, have a little bit of a walk around and then pack the tent back up. But it'll just conclude the tent video nicely. So here we go. Tent's on the truck. Spent the night in it in Wales last, last night. Sorry, the night before. All packed up. It was absolutely perfect. But now we're gonna show you how easy it is to put up and take down. Not going to bother with the awning because obviously you've seen an awning before you've seen a tent before but you might be interested to see how it fits on my truck so here we go right let's get it up then how yeah, darling you're on the camera now excellent to be fair i don't actually need the ladder to put it up but i'll show you how easy it is I'm running down like that. So that's it up. This door here does Velcro undone or zip undone. That rolls up. I'll get the ladder out and I'll show you inside quick. Obviously the ladder goes all three sides, but when I've got my awning up, this is the side we uh, we use. Did put some little LED lights in here, I'm not sure if I've shown you them, but I'll show you again in a sec. I'm gonna open these doors up, just let it air out a little bit and I'll bring you back. But these are the lights I put in, a couple of LED strips on the side. I think they're about seven quid. There's a plug into my D-Walt battery there on the USB drop that in there and you have this little remote control there you go right so uh, you got this little remote control they don't look very bright on the camera but you've got different colors we've got blues reds greens orange i say they're not don't look that bright now but over night time they are super bright and they're brightening it they're lighting it right up so i'm gonna leave it like that for now we're gonna go and have a bit of a walk and a wonder just let this air out and then we'll come back. Well, that's it, he's had a good airing out. I'm just gonna pack it away now. I'm gonna roll the, the blind down at the back first, pull the stays out, and then show you how easy it is to shut up.
and that's it just pack the ladder up she's good to go perfect thanks very much for watching see you next time cheers